What's up, CHGO fam? Adam Hogue, Nicholas Moriano with you from our second OTA practice that we've been able to watch so far in the last couple weeks. Once again, Nick, a lot of guys either not here or not practicing. Yeah, that seems to be the case every time we come back to Hellas Hall here, Adam. Uh, no Nate Davis, you're supposed to be your starting right guard. Chase Claypool was here, wasn't practicing. No Darnell Mooney, Eddie Jackson, and no Jalen Johnson right now. Yeah, I've, I find it really interesting that Nate Davis, who the Bears just signed a couple months ago, is mm -hmm. not here. I, just in my experience doing this, that's that doesn't happen a lot where you add a player, a veteran player. Now, certainly it's voluntary. They don't have to be here. But mm -hmm. usually when you sign a new contract and you move teams, you want that player to be here. You definitely do. And when you talk to Cody White here, who's a veteran who's been here for a long time at the center position now, he was kind of talking about Nate Davis. And being a veteran, he does know the system, this wide zone scheme. So he didn't seem too concerned. But he's a new guy on this team. You'd like to see him get the camaraderie, the chemistry with his new teammates. But that isn't the case right now through two open OTA practices that we've been able to attend. And a little nugget from John Hoke, the Bears' defensive passing game coordinator on Jalen Johnson that I thought was really interesting and in many ways changes the whole conversation about Jalen Johnson to me. But he said that Jalen Johnson has zoomed into meetings, okay. that he's watching practice film, and he's texting almost every other day with questions after watching that film. So maybe not the end of the world that he's not mm -hmm. here and that certainly doesn't necessarily sound like a player who's holding out also both john hoke and matt Eberflus seem to indicate that they expect jalen johnson to be here at least for veteran minicamp if not by next week for the last round of otas and that's good for the bears we just got listened talking to kyler gordon how much he's been communicating with jalen johnson you know just this past season just kind of picking his brain on alignment assignment techniques things that you know he can obviously learn from a jalen johnson so that's good news for a guy that's going to be a big part of the Bears' defense this upcoming season. A couple quick hitters from what we saw in the practice field today. Uh, big interception for Tyreek Stevenson. Mm -hmm. uh, on, I think it was on fields, but it was kind of hard to see. I, whether he was in bounds or not, that's, I think, the question. It definitely was on fields trying to throw to his left, but it looked like the, what the offensive side said it was incomplete, where the defensive side, of course, was saying, yeah, that's a pick. And John Hoke said that he didn't like how he double caught it, so still room for improvement mm -hmm. on the interception. Uh, also, during, I think it was mostly during two minute drill, but uh, PJ Walker hooking up with Tyler Scott, the mm -hmm. rookie, um, at least back to back plays, if not more than that. And uh, I like seeing that from the rookie wide receiver. Yeah, him making plays with PJ Walker, and that's where he's got, gotten a lot of reps. But we also saw a couple of nice diving catches from the one two connection fields to DJ Moore over the middle of the field. So it's good to see that carrying over from the first OTA practice where Fields was connecting with him consistently. Another great day here at Hallis Hall. You might see the players rolling out behind us in their, their nicer cars. We're going to leave here in our not-so-nicer cars. Uh, we got a big show coming up, too. If, after you check out this video, make sure you check out our full hour-long recap episode from OTA practice number two, at least for us, not for the team. Uh, got a lot more to break down, a lot more to bring you from the press conferences as well. So make sure you find that video right here on the CSGO YouTube channel.